Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about a pattern program that is how we can print numbers in the right triangle shape that is in this pattern. This pattern is also called as Floyd's triangle. It is named after Robert Floyd and Floyd's triangle is nothing but this is the right angle triangle of natural number. It contains consecutive numbers start from 1 at the left top corner that is this. Here we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 all natural numbers right. And here we can see these numbers are in right angle triangle shape. So this is called as Floyd's triangle. So let's get started with the program. So in the python file first we'll ask the user to enter the input because here we are writing a general program so we'll ask the user to enter the number of rows okay so for that i need to take one variable which will hold user entered input so here i'll take my variable name as n if you want you can take any variable then assignment operator next here i'll take input function to get the input from the user i'll use input function so here I'll write one message that is enter the number of rows. This message will display on the output screen. Okay. So here this input function will take input as the string value. By default this input function will take input as string value. That's nothing but now if I enter the number of rows as 4. It will treat that as the string value then it will store that string 4 in this variable n. But here I don't want that right. Here number of rows are integer values. So I want integer input. That's why here I'll use int function which will convert the string input to integer input. Alright. Next. Here we can see we want to print these numbers in different row and column right so if you see here this is the row right and these are the columns so i want to print numbers in the different row and column for this we are using nested for loop that is nothing but for loop within the for loop and here first we'll write the for loop for row inside that we'll write the for loop for column that's because here we want output like this Okay, so these are the rows okay so these are the row and here we can see first row second row third row and fourth row okay this is the output for four rows and here i'll start the index from one so here this is first row second row third row fourth row okay so these are the columns okay this is first second column third column and fourth column and here we'll write the numbers in this way First, we'll check for row 1 and column 1. Okay. After printing this number, we'll go to the row 2 and we'll check for column 1. Next, we'll check for column 2. Okay. After that, we'll go to the row 3 and we'll check for column 1, column 2, column 3. After that, we'll check for row 4. In that, first, we'll check column 1, column 2, column 3. That is here. First, we'll check for row 4, column 1. Next, row 4, column 2. Row 4, column 3. Next, row 4, column 4. So here first we'll write the for loop for row. Inside that we'll write the for loop for column. Okay. So what do we have to do? First we have to write the for loop for row. So I'll take for. Okay here I need to take one variable and I'll take my variable name as row. If you want you can take any other variable in followed by range function. So here I'm using range function. And in the range function, I need to mention the start and end. So here, I'll take the index from 1 because here I show you, right? We'll take the row index from 1. Okay. So I need row as 1 to n plus 1. Why? Because here n contains the number of rows which is entered by the user right if you enter number of rows as 4 then that 4 will be stored here 
so range will be from 1 to 4 plus 1 that is 1 to 5 so it will give output as 1 2 3 4 okay so it will give 4 rows here n plus 1 is excluded right so it will give range as 1 to n inside this we need to take the another for loop it is for column and here i'll take the variable name as call it is the short form for column if you want you can change the variable name in and here also i'll use range function and here also i need to mention the start and end value so how many columns we want in our output okay so here at first row i want one column okay and second row i want two column here we can see and third row we want three column okay at fourth row i want four column right when row is equal to one i want one column when row is two i want two column when row is three i want three column when row is four i want four column so what i'll do is i want range from one to row plus one that is i want i want number of columns as equal to the number of rows right at row one i want one column at row two i want two column at row three i want three column at row four i want four column so i'll mention the range as one to row plus one here the index will start from one and here row plus one is excluded so it will give range as one to row uh, for example uh, row value is one okay so if the row value is one control comes here so range will be from one to row plus one so one to two so it will give output as one so when row is one we'll get one column okay that's why we need to mention the range like this inside this okay so here i'll use print function but what you want to print right i want to print numbers from one so for that what i'll do is i'll take another variable and i'll initialize this with one so i'll take one variable called num and i'll initialize that with one so now here in the print i'll print that value of num so now num value is one so it will print one here next end is equal to empty string to print remaining numbers that is 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 what i'll do is i'll increment the num value by 1 so num is equal to num plus 1 every time num will be incremented by 1 so it will print 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 like that numbers okay so here in the print function i use end because in the print function by default end value will be slash n but here we don't want that that is after printing one here control goes to the next line so if i didn't mention end here it will print numbers in the single column i don't want that okay so here i change the end value to empty string that is uh, so here as i take num value is one it will print one here okay next here it will print two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 because each time num value will be incremented by 1 so it will print consecutive numbers and here after printing 2 I want the next number 3 immediately after that right I don't want this number in the next line that's why here I change the end value to empty string okay next uh, in the first for loop that is the for loop for row i'll use print function here i won't change the end value okay here end value is slash n because i use this print function for new line because here in the output after printing this row i want to go to the next line right i want new line after each row here also we can say row 3 is in new line row 4 is in new line right to get that new line after each row i use this print function and i use this print function in the first for loop that is because this for loop is to print numbers in the row after printing row one it will execute this print function so control goes to the next line for the next row numbers will be print in the new line okay that's why here we use the print function this is for new line 
okay so now we are done with our code so we need to save this and run this okay so a message is displayed on the output screen that is enter the number of rows so i'll enter number of rows as 4 so here we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so if you want to get clear output because here all numbers are together right so you can give space here so after printing one number it will give space okay so now again we'll run this so it will ask i'll enter four only so here we can see the difference right okay now i'll enter my number of rows as six okay so here we can see the output and here you may ask some numbers are not in the same column right so here you can say three five eight okay but 12 and 17 are here that's because here in these numbers two digits are there that's why here we are getting output like this so this is about the Floyd's triangle but uh, and we wrote our program in the python 3 and we executed our program but if you are using python 2 and if you try to execute this program you may get error because in python 2 print is not a function it is just a statement so if you are using python 2 then you need to write code like this okay so here till here it is same right here as i said print is not a function here it is just a statement so you need to write like this and instead of end to get the same output you need to use comma at the end of the statement okay and this print is for new line so here we need to write like this okay so if i execute this save and run here we can see we are using python 2.7 and here we can see the message enter the number of rows i'll enter 4 and we can see the output okay so this is about the floyd's triangle that is how we can print numbers in the right angle triangle starting from one so that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care